that is correct. President Trump 24. in Florida yesterday talking about <laughs> jobs, job training. But as we've been reporting, millennials don't want construction jobs. Here's an idea from Ed Lazar, uh, Lazar, I should say, uh, former White House economic advisor, writing in the Wall Street Journal, send us your young, your educated. He's talking about immigrants, skilled immigrants. Come on in, Michael Bellerman, Associated Builders and Contractors CEO. There's a shortage of construction workers. Millennials don't want the jobs. Why not bring in more immigrants? Stuart, I think that's a great question. Uh, we've got uh, a significant workforce shortage. We're at all-time highs, over a half a million uh, work uh, job opportunities in our industry. Yes, we brought on about 300,000 over the last 12 months. But when you think about uh, millennials, if you take out vote tech training, education, shop class, and then you give only college promotional materials to the guidance counselors, and no one wants to talk about careers in technical education, no wonder we got this systematic problem. That's why we're excited uh, about the president signing uh, Perkins Act yesterday. It mm. does two things, uh, changes the system. Uh, one, it, re it, it basically takes away and streamlines the uh, cost to apply and comply with federal grants for technical education. That is significant. The second thing it does is encourages employers and states to partner with employers to bring them in to design the curriculum so that the student competencies in that product is employable when they graduate. Why do you think millennials don't want jobs in the construction business? Is it because they don't want to get their hands dirty? I think it's the best kept secret in our country. Uh, working in construction industry, you've had so many stories of people that have been on your show. Uh, one was an apprentice who went through his four-year apprenticeship training. A year after he graduated, he owns his own electrical subcontracting company. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, the president highlighted one of the graduates of the technical uh, institute that they were at yesterday. He's making six figures. It's a big secret because all we're doing in schools is saying you got to go to college. You got to go to college. Uh, how much can a welder make? Or you know, just an entry level welder in a construction company, off the top of your head, what can they make? So an entry level welder that comes into an apprenticeship program is going to make probably thirty, thirty five thousand dollars when they graduate from their apprenticeship and get the competence that they, that they need. And we can get them up and running in 18 months. They can make over $100,000. The demand is that high for a welder at this moment in time. What about an electrician? I mean, you go in as an apprentice, entry-level position. How much do you make, and what do you make when you finish with the apprenticeship? Electrician, you're going to end up making $35,000 roughly to start. When you graduate and you're a journeyman electrician, you're going to be making sixty to 70000 with an opportunity to make over 100000 if you're willing to work uh, and put in that overtime. If you get the word out of those kind of incomes, I think you'll get a lot of applicants. Michael, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it, sir, and we'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you.